Hi, I'm Dr. Richard Lippman, an endocrinologist, internist, and weight loss specialist in Miami, Florida. Losing weight and keeping the weight off can be made much simpler when using an individualized weight loss plan. My Miami Diet Plan is designed to help you find the three most important causes of your weight gain and then make some simple changes. Many individuals, however, need help with their hunger and cravings in the form of weight loss medications. In this video, I will review the benefits and side effects of some of the older and newest weight loss medications. The secret is to find the best medications for your individual needs. Some people, I see, have no control of what they eat and are making the worst choices in their meals, drinks, and snacks. Others are having all sorts of salt and carbohydrate cravings, while others simply have a low metabolism for many reasons. Either way, there is a diet medications for you. Lose three to five pounds per week with FDA approved diet medications. These medications when matched with the right individual have few side effects and help you control your hunger and cravings. We can help you find an individual plan whether you have 10 or 100 pounds to lose. As an endocrinologist, my office, my office treats diabetics, people with high blood pressure or thyroid dysfunction routinely. If you have any of these problems, we can help you lose weight, which is often what is needed to control the medical problems. Here are some of the medical complications of excessive weight gain, including arthritis, cardiovascular problems, diabetes, high cholesterol and blood clots. People with severe obesity have a lower life expectancy and often notice job discrimination. Here are some of the older and newest weight loss medications. Older pills that you may be acquainted with include Adapex, which is Phentermine, Fastin, and Ionamine. Newer medications include Belvic and Qsimian. Finding the best medications for you involves understanding these medications, including how they work, their possible side effects, and then matching them up with your eating habits. Qsimi and Belvic increase chemicals in the brain controlling hunger, cravings, and fullness. Remember, Qsimi contains two actual drugs within the same capsule. Both Phenermine and Topamax affect the hypothalamic appetite centers in the brain increasing chemical messengers including dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin. This produces fullness, decreases appetite, and decreases cravings. Belvic affects slightly different appetite centers in the brain and increases only serotonin in the, directly in the appetite, or se, appetite center of the hypothalamus. This produces fullness and decreases hunger and cravings. This is how Qsimia was designed very smartly to control hunger, cravings, and fullness throughout the day. Hunger peaks, as I showed you before, several times during the day. And following the hunger, there's periods where the, you experience fullness. Cravings occur late in the afternoon, the blue line, and occur into the early evening. The makers of Qsimia designed the phenamine to be released immediately and gradually decreased through the day so that there was very little left late in the evening so you would not be bothered by the insomnia that occurs often with phenamine in much larger doses. This is not seen in Qsimia because the dose is so low and taken so early of phenamine. The Topamax part of the Qsimia is a delayed release so that most of the topamax is not actually available in the blood and the brain till three or four in the afternoon and then it gradually decreases at bedtime the topamax sleepiness cancels the some of the phenamine insomnia so it, in most people there are very few side effects and very few complaints of insomnia in fact, more complaints come from the Topamax part than the Phenermine part, probably because the doses are so low. 
this combination of immediate release and, and delayed release, Topamax helps suppress appetite and increase fullness throughout the day. The side effects of Belvic are very, very little and quite minimal. This includes headaches in only 6% of patients, dizziness, fatigue, nausea, dry mouth, and some constipation. What you do not see are the side effects seen in typical appetite suppressors. No palpitations, anxiety, insomnia. Very atypical side effects and very minimal. Thank you for your attention. If you have further questions or desire a personal consultation, call my office at 305-670-3259. Visit my internet site at www.richardlipmanmd.com. You can download the Miami Diet Plan at my website. The complete ebook is available at Amazon.com.